Hi, I'm Alicia. And I'm Amelia. Our video, The Significance of Identity, SFU's Role in Cultural Revitalization for the Comox First Nation, is a project we put together for the Communication 387 Digital Storytelling for Public Engagement course, which focuses on special topics. Digital storytelling is representing a narrative through multimedia, including audio, visuals, and text. Throughout the course, we are working in partnership with the Comox people and Dr. Barbara Winter, who is SFU's Director of the Museum of Archaeology and Ethnography. Our video explores Andy Everson's take on the work Simon Fraser's field school program has been doing to help the Comox First Nation regain their sense of identity. Throughout the course of the semester, we discussed and read a lot about cultural valorization and cultural revitalization. These processes, both of which are used a lot by museums, are intended to help show people the value of other cultures and help them understand and connect with them. Human beings naturally identify with storytelling, so storytelling is a key component in getting people to connect with other cultures and to get them to care about them and appreciate them. Using the stories and firsthand experiences of Indigenous people for this project really helped us understand the Comox culture and hopefully will help you guys understand it as well. Identity is really important to the Comox First Nation, but the lasting effects of colonization have made it difficult for them to understand who they are and to understand their past. Bringing in the SFU field schools created the opportunity for archaeological digs that found various artifacts such as spearheads and incised pebbles that reveal bits of the Comox history. The overarching theme of our video is reconciliation, and we thought that the restoration of identity was a really important way that SFU was working with the Comox First Nations to achieve that. Due to COVID, our process for making this video looked a little bit different than it might have in prior semesters for the course. We were given access to a collection of pre-existing photos, videos, and interviews that we picked apart and cut together in order to be able to tell a coherent, meaningful story. It was important for us to choose images that not only matched the clips we paired them with, but brought the Comox First Nation people to life. Images should always enhance the audio and bring to life the vivid stories and experiences told by interviewees. We also worked on our project entirely remotely, so Amelia chose which photos, videos, and interview clips we would use based on our project page, and I edited them together with a combination of iMovie and Adobe Premiere. Seeing as the course focused on public engagement, it was important to us that our video has the potential to change audiences' thinking. We want people to come away from seeing our video understanding just how important reconciliation and cultural revitalization is for First Nations communities, such as the Comox. The ongoing partnership between SFU's Department of Archaeology and the Comox First Nations people is a reflection of SFU's efforts in the reconciliation journey between Indigenous peoples of Canada and large institutions in our society. To assist in the piecing together of an entire people's identity is a large feat and ultimately what once was can't be brought, brought back in the exact manner. Revitalization is more about taking the rich history of a culture and hopefully creating something new with the core still being intact. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoy our video. Kaila Kasla Nuko Am Kumhilagilis Kayutlanla Komox. My English name is Andy Everson and I come from the Comox First Nation. Yeah, I was born and raised in Comox and lived away for a little bit, but not too long. Identity is pretty crucial in understanding uh, who you are um, and I think for um, contemporary Comox um, First Nations members it's uh, especially important. Trying to express who we are in this, in this greater area of the Comox Valley is, is really important to, um, to individuals and to families. Trying to figure out um, who we are is, is really important, um, especially after things like uh, residential school and uh, the anti-potlatch ban and different things like that that have um, kind of effects of colonization that have um, impacted us in, in profound ways. You have potential role for archaeology and cultural revitalization. You know, it's taking a, a a glimpse at what was remaining of, of our culture from a long time ago and, and trying to extrapolate what that means to present day culture. 
I think having the SFU Field School here has been uh, really important for, for us. Um, and, you know, working alongside uh, Jesse Morin, who's um, our researcher here for the Comox First Nation. Um, it's, for us, it's, of course, any kind of uh, archaeological dig and uh, efforts are, are expensive endeavors. And our, our people wouldn't be able to uh, fund those on our own and um, kind of undertake that level of research that um, when you when you create or bring in a field school, um, you're able to leverage a lot of um, you know, student work and and um, and a, a real sense of um, uh, research into the pieces. You know, having our, um, the SFU Archaeological F uh, Field School here, uh, returning here and now, um, is is really important to. Um, to raise these kind of research questions and you know finding those incised pebbles for instance is, has opened our eyes these are things that we've never seen before and and I think that it also um, strengthens our uh, long-term claim on this territory and you know it's showing that we've occupied these sites for you know thousands of years and um, so that's just one area and and I think that we're grateful that um, SFU is able to provide this for us. Thank you for watching and please let us know if you have any questions in the chat and we will do our best to answer them. Thank you!